So let's right now pray as a body. You see, we are a body of Christ, man. We got, we got infinite more power than all of those witches combined in the whole world. Get, get them all together and let's have a let's have a showdown on Mount Carmel. Amen. All right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Showdown on Mount Carmel. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord, for uh, the Holy Spirit uh, discerning and revealing the truth, Lord, about Marsh's situation, Lord. And we lift this situation up uh, right now in the name of Jesus. And we bind right now Satan. We bind the strong man assigned against Marsha. And, Lord, we just come against right now the coven, Lord, Lord, we your Bible, your word says to love our enemies, Lord. We don't, Lord, we don't curse the witches, but we right now come against their curses with the blood of Jesus right now and the authority of Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit, and we we cut off the ungodly silver cords right now from Marsha. Right now in Jesus. Now everything that attached itself to Marsha, all the ley lines and the ungodly silver cords in Jesus' name, we cut and sever them off Marsha right now and off the house. And that portal, we shut that portal down with the blood of Jesus right now. We close it in Jesus' name. We seal it with the blood, Lord. And we bind Horus too and Lucifer and Baphomet and witchcraft. We bind it all and Jesus mighty name and we Lord we just cover all effigies of Marsha right now in any pentagrams with the blood of Jesus right now and we just consume them with fire right now the fire of the spirit right now in Jesus name and we break the pentagram we break every pentagram right now the enemies placed uh, tried to place on Marsha against Marsha right now uh, in Jesus name we destroy every point in the circle of that pentagram and right now we loose Marsha from all the curses and we turn every curse assigned against her into the blood into a blessing and we yeah we seal her right now with the blood in Jesus name and we lose right now ask the angels right now to go forth right now and destroy all the magic, all the magic assigned against her right now. We turn all that magic into a blessing for your glory in Jesus' name, and we cut it off her right now in Jesus' name. And, yeah, we bind that strong man, and we command every witch right now to have their silver cords removed, and, Lord, we command that they be all placed at the feet of Jesus right now, every one of them. All right, Father God, you said vengeance is yours, Lord. You will repay, and we deliver all the witches, Father God, into your hands, at your feet, under your feet, in Jesus' name, because we know, Lord, that uh, all our enemies are under our feet, and we thank you, Jesus, right now for your grace right now. We ask for the Holy Spirit and the blood of Jesus right now to sanctify and cleanse Marsha's house right out right now in the name of Jesus. We lose the light of God in every area where there was darkness there. And we thank you, Jesus, right now that that portal by faith is now closed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Father in heaven, we, uh, we ask that all those curses be returned to their senders as blessings and yeah. filled with the spirit of adoption. Fill them all with the spirit of adoption so that these witches might see the truth and might turn to you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Father, you said that those that curse you, we must bless them, Father. So right now we bless each and every one that has sent a curse upon her. Father, we ask you to loosen the revelation knowledge of Jesus Christ upon them. Father, we ask you to loosen your spirit of agape love, Father. Loosen deliverance from them. Loosen their minds from witchcraft and from following Satan. Father, let them become a testimony from your kingdom, Father. We just thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, I just um, lift Marsha up and, and Lord, I pray you grant her the grace and the forgiveness toward these witches, Lord, that there's nothing in her heart held toward them. Lord, we, we ask for your mercy, your grace and your forgiveness to be um, in Marsha towards these witches, Lord. And uh, we just close down any portal, any uh, emotional trigger, any, any uh, mind control, triggers we just cut them off 
in the name of Jesus Christ. And, and Lord, we just ask for your grace for Marsha to completely forgive and bless these witches so that they have no um, access to her. And we just thank you for the blessings, Lord, um, that every one of these curses is turning to a blessing for Marsha. And we just give you praise and we give you the glory. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We agree. We agree. We agree, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that Marsh is part of your body. And Lord, we just uh, give you the glory that she is sanctified and protected and hidden in Christ. Lord, we just thank you, Lord, that Marsha is hidden in you. Lord, that the enemy can't even see her anymore in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. That's a good weapon too, by the way, to pray. If you really want to um, uh, be anonymous to the enemy, <laughs> just pray that you're hidden in Christ. Say, Lord, by faith, Father God, I thank you, Lord, that I'm hidden in you and that the enemy can't even see me or touch me in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 That's, thank you. Amen. Hey, yeah. sister, bless them real quick. Just say, Father, we bless the witches. Mm. Father, we bless the witches. And pray that they would be saved. And I pray that they will be saved. In Jesus' name. So, Father, we just break the lie that the witchcraft is stronger than Jesus right now in the name of Jesus. And, Father, for those witches, Lord, I pray that you would show them that uh, that they will not die if they come to you, that the other witches will not be able to touch them, Lord. Let them have boldness, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we don't pray, we don't pray the mother of all bombs on them, all right? <laughs> <laughs> part, of the, um, part of the power the witches have is when they can get us upset with them and, and then because we have unforgiveness then it just keeps that door open and, and, and it's, it's hard to forgive them until you realise that God does actually use what they do to us to bless us, you know. He uses, he uses their curses to draw up iniquity that is in us. I'm convinced of it and um, they can only attack us in an area of our weakness. And um, when they attack us, they expose our, our weakness and then we're able to deal with it. And it turned, every time we deal with it properly, it turns into a blessing, you know? That's right, because Jesus loves them. You know, he does love them. I mean, you, got, you can go and quote the Old Testament, but we're not under the Old Testament anymore. We're in the New Testament of love. You know, a different covenant than what it was in the Old. And um, so, you know, I got a re I heard a really good testimony once by a pastor in England. It was on, it's on YouTube somewhere. And a Satanist rang him up in the evening and cursed him out and said he was going to kill him and destroy his ministry and all that. And was cursing him. And the pastor just sat there and listened and said, is that all you got? And, uh, you know, he wasn't worried at all. And uh, anyway, he prophesied over him that the Lord was going to um, visit him. <laughs> anyway, he, got, he forgot about it all. And about a year later, he got a phone call from the same Satanist and he told him the testimony that they were having one of their satanic rituals out in a forest and they had a sacrifice or something and they had a fire. And there were a whole lot of them. I don't know how many there were there, I forget, but there was quite a lot of them. And uh, Jesus appeared in the fire. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus appeared in the fire. And he walked over and touched each and every one of them. And uh, they, they all got um, saved. And um, he rang them up and told him that that he <laughs> Christian because he got saved by Jesus and exactly as he prophesied over him so he was quite excited about that so he thanked him you know he thanked him for loving on him you know and blessing him he wasn't worried about him. So just, uh, isn't that awesome man it's so good praise God 